I have a dilemma. Sylvia, I have a dilemma. There are two boys at my school who asked me out, but I can't decide which one to choose. Oh, juicy gossip. Tell me all about it. Well, one is Jake. He's the captain of the debate team. He's so smart and driven, but a bit serious. And then there's Alex. He's the star quarterback, charming and hilarious, but a bit of a goofball. So, you've got Sherlock Holmes and the class clown vying for your affection. Tough choice. Exactly. I like them both so much, but they're so different. I can't figure out who would be the best match for me. Well, lucky for you, I'm the love guru. Here are my tips for choosing the right guy. First, think about what qualities are most important to you in a partner. Do you value intelligence and ambition? Or do you prefer someone who can make you laugh and have fun? <laughs> that makes sense. I do appreciate both qualities in different ways. Next, consider how each guy makes you feel when you're around them. Do you feel comfortable in yourself? Or do you feel like you have to put on a mask to impress them? I do feel more at ease with one of them. And that brings us to the final tip. Go with your gut. Your heart knows what it wants, even if your head is clouded by all the pros and cons. You're right, Sylvia. I think I know who I want to choose now. Thank you so much for your advice. I feel much clearer about this now. Anytime, my dear. Just remember, when in doubt, always trust your instincts. Can you give me more clues? Hey, Dylan. Hey, Elisa. Have you asked any girl to the spring dance yet? Um, I want to invite someone, but I'm a bit nervous about it. Oh, really? Who is she? Well, she's someone I have chemistry, math, and English together with. Hmm, that doesn't really narrow it down. Can you give me more clues? Sure. She has long brown hair, loves wearing pink clothes, and has the most beautiful smile. Oh, that's still not ringing any bells. Can you tell me more about her? Well, she's always so kind to everyone. And she's really funny, too. And she has these captivating green eyes. She can also sing and dance really well. But that sounds like me. Wait. Have you been talking about me all this time? Bingo! Yeah, I've been wanting to ask you to the spring dance. I just couldn't find the right moment. Dylan, I had no idea. I thought you were talking about someone else. I'd love to go to the dance with you. Awesome! I'm so glad you said yes. I was so nervous about asking you. Don't worry, you did great. I'm looking forward to the dance now. Me too. It'll be so much fun with you there. Thanks for asking me, Dylan. This is going to be an amazing night. Give me a big smile. Hi, Olivia. Let's get started. Take a seat on the stool over there, please. Sure thing, Alex. Like this? Perfect. Now, tilt your head slightly to the left and look directly at the camera. Yes, that's it. Now give me a big smile. Great job, Olivia. Now let's try something different. Stand up and walk towards the window. 
I want to capture some natural light on your face. Okay. I'm walking towards the window. How's this? Beautiful. Now turn your body slightly to the right and look off into the distance. Keep that pose. Wonderful, Olivia. That's the shot. Let's switch things up a bit. Can you try sitting on the floor, leaning against the wall? Sure, I can do that. How's this position? Perfect. Now cross your legs and gently place your hand on your chin. And look slightly upwards towards the light. Excellent, Olivia. You are a natural in front of the camera. Let's go for one more look. Stand by the backdrop and give me a playful, carefree expression. Got it. Playful and carefree, coming right up. That's a wrap, Olivia. You were amazing today. We captured some truly stunning shots. Thank you, Alex. I had a great time trying out different poses. Can't wait to see the final images in the magazine. Here's to good health and good friends. Here you go. Our healthy dinner is served. Bon appetit. We hope you enjoy it. We only eat healthy food that we cook at home. I love how colorful everything is. It's like a feast for the eyes. Mmm, this is really good. What's in this dish? It's grilled salmon with steamed vegetables. As desserts, we have fruit tarts. That sounds amazing. How do you guys eat so healthy all the time? We focus on lots of fruits and vegetables, healthy fats like fish and olive oil. And we stay away from unhealthy fats and sugars as much as possible. We try to avoid processed foods as much as possible and use minimal amounts of salt in our dishes. That's really admirable. I wish we were as disciplined with our diet. Do you guys cook everything at home then? Yes, we try to prepare most of our meals from scratch. It allows us to control what goes into our food and ensure it's nutritious. I love how flavorful everything is. How do you make healthy food taste so good? It's all about using the right seasonings and fresh ingredients. We love experimenting with different herbs and spices. You guys are like health gurus. I feel healthier just sitting at this table. Thank you for introducing us to this delicious and wholesome meal. Our pleasure. We believe that good food is not only about taste, but also about nourishing our bodies. Well, I hope you live to be 120, but I'm sure I won't be around to see it. <laughs> Here's to good health and good friends. What do you think of the United States? So, what do you guys think of the United States so far? I love it here. The energy, the opportunities, it's all so exciting. I came to work in the fashion industry. And New York is the place to be for that. I agree. The vibrant atmosphere here is like no other. I'm visiting my sister, who's been living here for a few years now. It's great to catch up with her and explore the city. That's fantastic! I'm here to study at one of the universities. New York has such a rich cultural heritage, it's a great place to learn and grow. Absolutely! The diversity here is amazing! It's so different from Brazil, where everyone is so close-knit. But I appreciate the individuality and freedom in the US. In Japan, we value tradition and politeness. 
It's a bit of a culture shock to see how outgoing and direct people are here. But I find it refreshing in its own way. I see what you mean. In France, we have a similar appreciation for etiquette and refinement. I've been amazed by the can-do attitude here. People are so driven and motivated to pursue their dreams. I've noticed that too. It's motivating to see how people here are not afraid to take risks and challenge themselves. It's like a melting pot of cultures and ideas. That's what I love about the U.S. Exactly! It's a place where you can be whoever you want to be and pursue your passions without judgment. And the endless possibilities! It's exhilarating to think about all the opportunities that await in this diverse country. How much do you charge? Hi there, I'm Jake. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Jake. I'm Sarah. I've been looking for someone to mow my lawn every week. Do you think you could help with that? Of course I can take care of that for you. This is my lawn. How much do you charge for that? Based on what I see, I think I can do it for $20 per week. Does that work for you? Yeah, sure. That sounds reasonable. And I also have those plants that need attention. Would you be willing to trim them and water them as well? Sure, I can do that for an additional fee. How about $10 extra each time? Sounds perfect. So, we're looking at $30 in total each week? That works for me. When would you like me to start? How about this Saturday? We can discuss a schedule from there on. Sounds like a plan. Oh, one more thing. Do you bring your own equipment? Yeah, I'll bring everything I need. You just sit back and relax. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. Thank you so much. I'll see you on Saturday then, Sarah. Looking forward to it, Jake. Thanks for helping out. Bake sale! Hey there! What's all this about? Why the bake sale? Hi! We're raising money to support our local animal shelter. They need funds for supplies and medical treatments for the animals. <coughs> That's wonderful! How much are you aiming to raise? We have a goal of $1,000. Every little bit helps. Count us in! So, what items do you have for sale today? We have a variety of goodies. We have brownies, cookies, cupcakes, and even some specialty cakes. Do you have any gluten-free options? Yes, we have gluten-free chocolate chip cookies and lemon bars available. We'll take a dozen of each, please. And how much are your cupcakes? Cupcakes are $2 each, or you can get a deal of six for $10. We'll take six cupcakes too, please. And what's the flavor of the specialty cakes? We have red velvet, carrot cake, and chocolate fudge cake. We'll take a slice of each of the specialty cakes as well. Gotta try them all. Your total comes to $48. Thank you so much for your support. It's our pleasure. We're happy to contribute to such a great cause. Plus, we get to indulge in some amazing sweets. Win-win all around! It's going to be a great addition. I'm not really feeling any of these options so far. Yeah, nothing really catches my eye. They all seem a bit ordinary. I agree. We want something that stands out in our new bathroom. Definitely. 
Let's keep looking. What do you say about this one? It looks too small for us. I want something spacious where I can really relax. I don't want to feel cramped in there. We need a good depth for soaking in comfortably. Agreed. Oh, look at that one with the Whirlpool jets. That could be nice. I like the idea of jets for a good massage. But this one is too big and is way too fancy for our taste. I guess you're right. Oh, wow. This one is beautiful. The design is unique. I love it. The shape, the color, it's exactly what we've been looking for. And it's the perfect size, too. Definitely. I can already picture ourselves relaxing in this after a long day. It seems to tick all the boxes for us. And the price is within our budget, too. I think we've found our bathtub. You're right. It's going to be a great addition to our home. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go and buy it. Let's not make a fuss. Excuse me, I need to speak to the manager. My daughter bought a pair of jeans here yesterday and was overcharged. I can help you with that, ma'am. Let's not make a fuss. I don't care what you think. I want to speak to the manager. Well, I'm authorized by the manager to handle complaints. So, what seems to be the problem? Oh, that's nice. The manager probably authorized you to overcharge too, right? Just get me the manager. I'm sorry you feel that way, but I'm more than capable of assisting you. Just tell me the details and we can resolve it. I said I want the manager, not a cashier who can't even get the prices right. Fine. Have it your way. Let me get the manager for you. What seems to be the problem here? Finally, someone who knows how to run a store. Your cashier here overcharged my daughter for a pair of jeans she bought yesterday. I apologize for the inconvenience. Let me check the system and see what went wrong. I told her I could handle it, but she insisted on seeing you. It's okay. I appreciate your concern. Let me take care of this. Ma'am, I'll make sure to refund the difference right away. Thank you. It's about time someone around here knows how to treat customers. No problem at all. Customer satisfaction is our top priority. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.